Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, as part of our hybrid wash series, I'm going to be testing and reviewing the combination of Chemical Guys Citrus Washing Gloss and Turtle Wax Max Power. Now, this combination can be a little dangerous. Uh, you have to watch your dilution ratios. But as always, we're going to be using our MTM submachine gun style foamer for the foam portion of the test. This is the PF22 model. And I'm going to be using one ounce each of our car soaps and 10 ounces of warm water with the foamer. Now before, when I did this test, as you can see on the back of the label, there's several different types of cleaning. If you want the pH neutral cleaning, you're supposed to use between one and three ounces of the uh, solution. If you want the, the extreme cleaning, which it says gives you a pH of 10, um, then you would use nine ounces per gallon. That's crazy. We're trying not to strip any wax or sealant, so I'm gonna go with the one ounce. That's what the directions say, so don't shoot the messenger. Anyway, after uh, the foam test, we'll move to our hand bucket where I'll use a three gallon bucket, and I'll use one ounce each of our car soaps and test the foaming, foaming ability and how it produces a hand wash result and hopefully we'll remove the bonded contaminants. It's about uh, 70 degrees outside. It's very, very sunny. Um, there will be a high evaporation rate because the air is kind of dry and there is a slight breeze. Nevertheless, we're gonna try it out. Maybe this is gonna be the perfect 10 we're looking for. I don't know. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go outside and look at the dirty Honda. All right, I've got one ounce each of our car soaps, 10 ounces of warm water. Let's see how this foams. Very nice. This foam initially goes on very thick. As you can see, it's starting to run very quickly, but not really any lubrication in the foam itself. Our goal with this is to see what kind of non-binding contaminants this hybrid combination can do. So with that being said, we are going to let this sit for six minutes and dwell, come back and rinse it with a pressure washer and see what kind of non-binding contaminants this hybrid combination can remove. All right, here we are six minutes later and there's probably 45%, 35, 45% left on the hood, windshield and top. And I don't know, 5% left on the sun side. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and we will see what kind of non-binding contaminants this combination can remove.
All right, so after we have rinsed off our combination, we can see that it has not degraded our Adams liquid paint sealant. It looked like it did a fairly good job on the non-bonded contaminants. Not the strongest I've seen, but it did remove quite a bit of them. So I'm going to say this is going to rate about an eight and a half. It's a good solid pre-wash. It's a fairly cheap economical pre-wash, if you will. I don't remember how much the Mac Turtle Wax Max Power is, but it wasn't very expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bucket set up and we will see what kind of foamage the combination can do in a hand bucket and then see how it tackles the bonded contaminants. Okay, so both of these, obviously I've done before. We're gonna do the, add the citrus washing gloss first. This is what you would call a premium car soap. It looks like banana cream pie filling. It's pretty viscous. Uh, it definitely is not one of my go-to car soaps. I just really don't care for it that much. It's kind of an old technology. And then this Max Power, whoops. All right, so we got about an ounce and an eighth. This Max Power is pretty much the viscosity of water. A lot of lubrication in the water just from, just from that. So that's a good thing. Let me get the pressure washer and let's see what kind of foamage it makes. So this does make a nice, nice healthy foam. This is a rapidly degrading foam. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's very, very dense. It's got a lot of small and medium microcells. And this foam has a lot of lubrication. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our micro, our, uh, our multiple mitts, and we're gonna go ahead and do a hand wash on the car and see what this does to the bonded contaminants. Sun's making me where I can't speak. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and give you my final thoughts on the Turtle Wax Max Power and the Citrus Washing Gloss. I think it does much better as a hand wash. It is a, it's an easy nine. It did a very good job on the non-bonding contaminants, and it leaves the surface nice and clean without stripping our Adams liquid paint sealant. Very, very good. I, uh, I would recommend it. Uh, in fact, I'll put a link down below if you want to get either of them and try them out. Um, it's good. 9.0. 9, 9 solid 9. So I appreciate everybody's viewership. There's much more videos to come. And I will see you on the next video.